Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Guns and Gadgets. This is where you will get all the Second Amendment news right here delivered to you as fast as possible. If you're interested in getting that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, recheck your subscription because they're doing funny things again. Uh, and uh, like the video, forward the video, and toggle the bell icon. Let's talk about some good news and some bad news in Hawaii. Hawaii had two very anti-gun bills defeated at the last hour of this legislative session, uh, but two are on the governor's desk as well. Let's talk about the good news first. House Bill 1902, I believe I did a video on this one in February. If I can find it, I'll put it above. Uh, but that one looked to ban any magazine above 10 rounds for rifles. They already have that for pistols in Hawaii. And that 11th round in Hawaii apparently makes you like a military sniper, uh, like sitting on top of a volcano. You can wipe out the whole island. Uh, so this bill, good thing that it, it didn't go to the governor, but it, it will be back. Mark my words. Probably like the first thing in the next legislative session. Uh, but this looked to, looked to ban the possession, manufacture, sale, barter, trade, gifting, transfer or acquisition of any magazine that could hold more than 10 rounds for a rifle. Now this bill, as it was currently uh, written, had a grandfather clause. If you had a magazine that fit this uh, description, you know, that 11th or more rounds, uh, then you could keep those because it's a very, very forgiving government. They're very kind to let us have those items. But you could never acquire one again or trade or sell or barter in fact, the only way somebody else in the state could get one after that, if this were to go into to effect, would be an inheritance. So I guess it would have to like be in a will to prove that it was inherited. That's, in, that's just nuts. Now, I checked the, the typical places I check in the anti-gun realm, and uh, they were looking at this as the potentially, which would have been the strictest high-capacity magazine ban in the land. Uh, so good thing that this uh, died at the 11th hour. Now the other bill that didn't make it through the anti-gun muster is Senate Bill 2635. Now again, we're talking about Hawaiian bills, but uh, 2635 would, <laughs> this is crazy. If this were to have gone through, and it'll, it'll be back, trust me, but you, as a free American, couldn't go and buy ammunition unless you could provide proof that you had a, a registered firearm in that caliber of the ammunition you wished to purchase. Yeah, let me say that one again. You couldn't buy as a law-abiding free American, couldn't go into a store and buy a lawful, non-governmental controlled item unless you could prove that you had registered with the government your firearm in said caliber. That's right. Now, however, again, the Hawaiian government, they're a very kind uh, crown. They didn't want to let their subjects feel terrible, so they threw them a bone. You could authorize one person who could be your alternate and could purchase your ammo for you, but they would have to be fingerprinted, gone through a background check for ammunition, and then again, they could only have it for that one caliber. Now, the wording in that, uh, in that bill left it up to the individual issuing authority, the local PD, to put more than one caliber on that permit if this were to happen. But you know, they're not gonna do that in Hawaii <laughs> because you have to pay for that permit. So they'll make you get one for every caliber. Now, if somebody could please in the comments down below, tell me what this does to stop criminals from doing criminal things. These, these laws simply penalize people who follow the damn law does nothing to those people who break the law because they're going to do what they want anyway. Now, there are two bills, like I said, on the governor's desk as we speak. Governor is a big, 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 big anti-gun Democrat. So they're probably going to be signed. So you should know about them if you're in your Hawaii, you have family in Hawaii, if you ever want a vacation in Hawaii. I'll tell you what, Hawaii is definitely off my list uh, when I win Powerball. I'm not going to move there because uh, y'all are crazy over there. All the legislators. Uh, HB 2744 on the governor's desk right now. And that is going to ban the sale, purchase, or possession of certain firearms parts. It's very vague, but it's looking to make uh, building firearms at home illegal. The ghost gun bill, if you will. 
Uh, so that is probably going to be signed quickly. As is uh, SB 3054, Senate Bill. If you remove a firearm permanently from out from the state, say you move to California because it's less liberal, <laughs> uh, then you would have to notify the registering county within five days. So say you lived in Hawaii, the Kauai County, uh, or any county, but if, if you moved from there to out of the state, you would have to notify uh, that county PD within five days. Otherwise, it would be a $100 fine per firearm. Yeah, they're going to fine you for moving out of the state and taking your lawfully owned items with you. So that is the update on Hawaii. Uh, some halfway decent news, really bad news on the governor's desk. And those other bills will be back. So uh, please pass them along if you could. Please hit that thumbs up. It really helps uh, not just this channel, but other gun channels. Please hit the thumbs up on the videos and share the videos. It really helps destroy that YouTube algorithm that is shadow banning all of us. Uh, and if you make comments, all the better. Even if it's something as corny as Hawaii's gun laws suck. <laughs> now I'm sure I'm going to see about a thousand of those, which would be awesome. All right, guys. Please pass along. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care.